Oh my god, is this heaven? I think his family will be willing to donate some organs and kidneys. Oh hey! Oh no, he sucks. Never mind guys. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your wet towel to wash your face. Don't get too sleepy, okay? Hey, you guys up. You can visit him inside. He was sick back then, but it is transparent that he's fine now. The symptoms are just temporary. He doesn't have any fever, just coughing. I guess it is because the temperature has changed so quickly. Okay, thank you, doctor. Wow, seeing a real bomb explode, it could be a horrifying and frightening experience, right? I don't remember much about that experience. Um, but um, why the bomb exploded? I thought you guys are professional. Well, I suppose someone activated the bomb before I cut the main wire. What? Wow, that means if we deactivated them a few minutes late, we couldn't even imagine what could happen to the citizens there. I'm not gonna lie, but the destruction is inconceivable. The terrorists have no mercy. It was a fierce explosion. Yeah, I get it. Personally, thanks to our hard training. I don't need to rely on personal therapy or special treatments after this incident. It's not a tragedy to me, so no need to express sympathy. I still feel blue a little bit about this though. Man, hopefully I will not live in a wheelchair and become a disabled person. In your career, these unexpected explosions like that are occasional or common. That's actually extremely rare. Undergoing an experience like that is unfortunate. I guess I wasn't in luck back then. I will make sure the government will compensate well for your sacrifice. No, no need to. It's my duty eventually. Taking part in this mission is compulsory to me. You've truly devoted your effort to this campaign. We really appreciate your endeavor. I've already reported this incident to your headquarters. Someone in charge of you will appear any minute now. Once again, thank you for your profound contribution. We'd like to leave early to head back to John Gertman's case. Hope you could walk again soon, Tommy. So this is the place John Gertman is living, right? Yeah, according to his routine and our report, that's the place. Sir, could you spend some time answering a few questions for us? We're detectives and we're trying to solve this case. We are hoping that you can help us by giving us what you know about a man named John Gertman. John Gertman, he's on the fifth floor. So basically, he hasn't been here for a while, right? Um, no, he's currently in his room right now. Really? Let's go, Holmes. <coughs> What's that loud yell? Oh no, that's John Gertman. So, you know this man? Well, yes, that's the man we're going after. John Gertman. He's a reporter and he's working in this city. We've been spying on him for almost two weeks because we believe he has something to do with a criminal organization, so called the Red Glass. Wow, that's unfortunate. Do you think this is a suicide? Hmm, I'm really not sure about it. 
He's bleeding so much. This may be an internal massacre. Officer, in my view, is probably a murderer. Hey, Mr. Hopper, there's a suspect in the five o'clock direction. He's going away. Let's follow him. Oh no, he's trying to run away from us. He's gone. This guy has no dignity, runs like a coward. Five minutes later. Yup, I confirm this is John Kirkman. It's undeniable because we can recognize his face. No need to do medical surgery, he's dead. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. Holmes, let's go to his room on the fifth floor. Hmm, it seems like a normal room, nothing special here. Yeah, except for the notebook in the middle of the table over there. What's that? Hmm, I think this is the diary of John Kirkman. How can we know it's a genuine diary? A fraction of it maybe has been rewritten, or it maybe has been hunted. I don't care whether this diary is authentic or not. But I think it will be useful, regardless of our uncertainty. Additionally, it's superfluous to verify it, because we couldn't. Oh man, this diary would be a valuable document about him. It contains detailed information about his life and even the red cloth. This would be classified as a legacy of John Gurdman. Huh, but why is in the middle of this table? The murderer didn't notice this diary? Maybe the murderer wouldn't expect that John Gurdman possesses a personal diary to take note of his daily life. Or he was so confident that he believed his plan was flawless. Really? That guy could not be superficial and careless like that. The guy should devastate John Gurdman's room. Anyway, we can reap many merits from this diary. It is irrefutable that this will be a valuable source of information for the next few months. Okay, briefly speaking, we found a suspect at the crime scene, but failed to catch him or saw his face. Luckily, we found a diary of John Gurdman. Now, we're gonna analyze and inspect this diary to see what is waiting for us in this. This diary is astonishing. It consists of lots of strange information especially when it comes to the red gloss. He exposed many unspeakable things about the red gloss and his past. There are many names mentioned like Gary Bond, James Goffin, Dan Furry, Henry Soden, etc. Wait, Gary Bond? What? Does that name recall something? Yeah, that's the guy I encountered when I set foot in here. He's a former police officer. Wow, that's great. Then he may be our next clue. Yet, he's probably in prison right now. Wait, how did he end up in prison? Wow, I am the one who put him in there. That's basically a long story, to be honest. Well, then I guess we should drop by and say hi to him. Hopefully, we can bargain and get something from him. Come on, Holmes, lead me to that prison. A few moments later. Finally, we have come back to Hagum City. Man, this place is so crowded. 
Unlike this place, Magma City doesn't have any traffic jams. And the rate of traffic accidents is utterly low. There are so many traffic lights here. Not to mention the street. I don't see any homeless people sitting around here. On the contrary, last year I traveled to a place where people live in poverty. In that place, the population density is significantly high. People are starving. Cattle and poultry go wild on every corner of the street. And the inflation is substantially high, so their money is almost worthless. We're here, the prominent prison. Zoe Bond, you have visitors. Okay, remember me, Gary Ben? Um, no, sorry. I feel like every character in this movie is alike somehow. Yeah, anyway, 